Pentagon has said it's unlikely that we're going to see major increases in defense spending for the foreseeable future in the absence of some, uh, there'll be a chain reaction. And that's the, uh, the, the uh, potential of this, a chain reaction of other countries following suit. It's one of the reasons why we have uh, worked, uh, when I was a member of the, uh, of the Senate, the House worked so hard to try to keep uh, the, um, the nuclear genie as far into the bottle as, as possible as far as in other nations um, uh, participating in, in developing nuclear weapons. Finally, Mr. Chairman, India's actions underscore how vital the U.S. deterrent, nuclear deterrent, is to our national security. What is needed at this time is not a Prime Minister Sharif, I offer my advice for whatever it's worth. This is the moment of truth for Pakistan as a nation as well. This is the moment of truth indeed. India can be a partner to the United States in fighting nuclear proliferation or it could be a schoolyard rival to India and engage in the folly of nuclear weapons testing. And I hope that Pakistan will choose to be our partner. Nice, Mr. Chairman. We'll now have Assistant Secretary of State for the Near East and the U.S. stated this week that India's action. I'm absolutely astonished that the Indian government was able to catch the U.S. intelligence capability so sound to sleep at the switch revealing the stark reality that the administration's six-year cozying up to India has been a foolhardy and perilous substitute for common sense. Original equipment manufacturer for a company, it comes out, it says Ford on it. And the Indians have had their test range uh, ready to test at almost a moment's notice for uh, a year or so now. Uh, so uh, something like this could have come at uh, most uh, any time. Uh, and uh, you could perhaps fault uh, not so much the CIA as the whole intelligence community for uh, not uh, having uh, uh, everything tuned to focus on this range and perhaps give the government a day's uh, worth of warning. Hey!